Okay, I'm going to show you Max's room that he has to stay in for 8 to 12 weeks. Where, where is he? Oh, there he is! Hi, Maxie! Turn on another light in here. We had to remove everything that he could jump on. So his food's over there, and this is what we did with our futon. And made a little um, slide, kind of, for him so he could get up on the windowsill. Oops, kicked a ball. And he... Maxie! Mao! Oh, he purring! And there's his little foot. Maxie! Look at Mama! I know you're mad that we did this to you. Look, at he's got his little... He's got a little patch shaved right here from... Oh, can you see it? That's where they put his little catheter from his surgery. Maxie! What happened to you? His little cast is purple. Neil said it was very manly. He purring. Maxie. Hey, Purface. Hey, that Purface. This is his little cone that he's got to wear for two weeks. Let me see. You can see. He was, he's shaved here. I'm assuming he's shaved the whole way down. He gets his stitches out in two weeks. Yeah, now, Maxie, you look mad. Poor Maxie. He had a trauma. And this is going to be his room. He has to get locked in it every day. You really do look mad, Mouse. Now, Mama, you break your mama's heart. You really do. You make me feel guilty. This kind of looks like a little cape, though. It kind of makes him look... What was really sad was earlier he was trying to lick his little paw to wash his face, and he couldn't get his paw out around this to lick it, and he just ended up licking right here, and it made me real sad. Oh, here he goes. Oh, here he comes, Hoppy. Here comes, Hoppy. Oh, that baby. That the baby. That the baby mouse. Oh, yeah. Pulling at Mama's strings. Leave him alone. No, leave him alone. How about you just be good? The vet laughed at me when, uh, well not laughed at me, but when uh, when she came in to show us Max's x-rays and you know how it looked after surgery. Let go of that, you little shithead. Um, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have said that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so the vet came in and uh, she said, you have the most resilient little cat. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she said that as soon as his surgery was done, that he was up and he was trying to stand on it and he was meowing and he was purring and he was trying to get people to pet him. And that was right after he woke up from his surgery. The poor little baby. And she was petting him and telling him what a good kitty he was. Because he's such a good little kitty boy. Don't. There you go. Oh, you're stuck. There you go. Oh. <laughs> well, I got news for you, buddy. I'm going to be moving here soon. I can't stay in here with you forever, Maxie. I feel you purring on me. Kitty! Mama's! Look at Mama! There you go. Oh, look at the butt went up. What happened with that butt? There you go. Here's the parting shot of Maxie Kitty post-surgery. Can you say, Carrie, feel better? Send a message to your Aunt Carrie. Come on. Maxie, just meow or do something. Say, I will let you snuggle with me when you come down and visit. Huh, Maxie? Well, that's a funny face. Maxie. Okay, that's all for now. Bye, Maxie!